Alright, good morning. Here we are from Silver Shop. Working on the project Chevy 49, 1949 Chevy. Check out my other videos I, for the cross member and the top of the shock struts there, the shock uh, housings. Um, I've got two videos, part one and part two, um, to show you step by step how to install that. It's a kit from Speedway Motors. And in their catalog, this is the kit. Those are the instructions. So now today I'm going to, since I'm redoing this kind of this front end, I'm going to install the radiator support brace, a new one. And it was, you know, reasonably priced. So since I've got everything apart, I'm going to be taking this out and replacing it with the new radiator mount. Um, probably don't need to, to be quite honest, but you know, just for the looks and um, cleaning up all this, I had to cut this out anyway. That's per the instructions to put the cross member in and the independent front suspension from Speedway. So um, you had to cut this anyway. So I'm just going to take this out, put in the new support. Um, I'll show you how to do that. Okay, y'all. So just to give you an idea of what it takes to get that out, what I did was took a saber saw, cut, cut, and drop that dude out. And then these guys, these pieces are bolted in right here under these two bolts they're up under there I grinded off the tops of them first once you do that then I took the saber saw again and cut here and here so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go from underneath take the saber saw and basically cut a little bit outside of the bottom of the frame line just, and then I'll grind it down to level with the top frame piece. I think I'm going to have to take out these as well, which are the leaf spring uh, mounts. I'm almost for sure, so I'm going to go ahead and grind off the tops of these um, as well. Pop, well, we'll see how easy it is. Nothing's really easy, but pop these out as well. It'll clean up the frame as well. So I just wanted to give you an update. Okay, folks. So, um, that was a little bit more difficult than what I thought. Um, there's basically three, um, this guy here and these two. This one wasn't terribly hard to get out, grinding it from the other side because you can't really get to it from this side. Grinding these from the underside as well because you really can't get to them from the top. And then beat me ever loving daylights out of it. Um, I finally got both of them out. It took me about, I don't know, hour, hour and a half. It wore me out. As you can see, you know, original frame underneath, I don't think they've ever been removed. Obviously they haven't because the rivets are still in there, the bolts, whatever. So, um, but hey, it's a 49 and there's no through rust, which is really cool. Um, just a little bit of pitting, like right in this area, so I'll clean all that up and clean all this up as well. Make sure to prime it real well and, and paint it. So now I can get that cross, that uh, radiator uh, um, mount in. Um, come to find out, you have to remove at least one of these to get the thing in there if you've already got the uh, cross member in. Um, again, I did the cross member first because I wanted to keep squareness and such, so this is it. These were going to come out anyway. There's no reason I needed leaf spring um, hinges any longer. So. Okay, so here we are. Um, after I got those two leaf spring mounts removed, I uh, pretty much grinded off all the surface rust. There wasn't any free rust. There was a little bit of pitting underneath here. And uh, it's just where, 
you know, 70 years of water that got up in there. And But again, only surface, which is good. I went ahead and put some etching primer on every place. I probably should have been doing this the whole time, but anyway, uh, because that had some rust there and such, I went ahead and, and did that for, for better coverage. So I put the uh, um, radiator mount in and I bolted, you know, the two top bolts. What I did do is I clamped them this way. Um, I had to pull in the frame just a little bit uh, to get them both to line up with the holes because I wasn't going to drill out any other holes. Uh, something else is the kit or the arm came with four extra bolts. So I'm guessing that since there's only four bolts for the top with holes already drilled, there is nothing on the bottom. And that's either on the frame or inside. So, no joy of fun. My favorite thing is to drill. All right, so not too bad for a day's work. We got the uh, all the holes drilled. Got them all torqued down, 35 foot pounds. Got the underside, two holes drilled, and down there. So radiator support is in.